Hello, Stephen. Sorry, sorry about this. You're right. What's uh, matter here for my associations? What, what's that you're bringing in with you? I brought in the Schmerzen I mentioned before. The what? The Schmerzen. Oh, the special chair. Is it? Well, it's let's, a let's, Swedish chair. Let's get this one out of the way. Okay. You brought you brought so that all the way with you, yeah. I've br well, I've got, I had a car outside. Sit yourself down. It's uh, headphones there. Should right. be. Sorry. Well, uh, Beg your pardon. Not there to right. uh, do the volume and stuff like that. <laughs> Away we Hello go. There. Can't hear anything. There's a little thing there. That's it. You got you it. Got okay. That's it, right. Well, I suppose we'll, we'll 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 start then. Sorry by, about uh, that. Sorry. Uh, oh eight seven oh nine oh nine oh nine seven three. It's the start of, of what could become a regular feature. We've done this once before. Uh, if you've got any technical problems to do with your PC, could you just breathe a little bit? Away sorry, sorry. The microphone. sorry. If you've got any technical problems to do with computers, PCs, <laughs> uh, Macs, gadgets, uh, then give us a call. We can speak to Stephen, and he should be able to help you. Thank you very much for the. Just breathe off mic slightly. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, thanks very much for the help with the Nintendo last night. Getting that online, much appreciated. No, no problem at all. It can be tricky. I was playing Super Mario Kart with a Frenchman today. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> yeah. What's that? What does that mean? The game. Playing the game. Right, on okay, the, sorry, the thing. thought you. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's get the first question. Uh, let's go to. Oh, it's Anthony again. I saw you. You're right, Anthony. Yeah, how are you? Fine. You're through. To, we've, got, we've got to be quick. So you've got a lot of calls yeah, on I this. Yeah, Steve. Um, Hello there. I got um, a uh, CD right off the disc. Right. Um, and I put it in the computer, and then um, it doesn't play on um, the computer. Oh. Is it? It's the disc is the right way up. You put it. Yeah. Any pictures right. that the facing up? Is it? Yeah, it's the right way. So put that facing up and slide it, and then you press. Don't try not to just push the the cassette holder thing in. Press there's a button that, that it takes it out, pop it in, make sure the shiny side is downwards and pop it in. Hopefully that should do something. I'll give it a try. Is that okay, Anthony? Yes, yeah, fine. Let's good, now good get luck on. To you. Good lads, thank you very much. So we go the first one, uh, first off the rank. It was nice to get out of the way. Stephen, what have you been up to r uh, recently? I've, I was very lucky. I, I went to a conference uh, down in, it was in Buckinghamshire. Yeah. And so a lot of the computer guys uh, go there. We really they like to hang out. And uh, it's not all computers. And I was actually lucky enough to meet uh, Charlene Spatiri, who was there. Oh, the, the, the lady I'm from very, Texas. Very, very big fan of Texas. Got a lot of their early stuff. And uh, we got chatting in the bar and actually bought her uh, vodka and tonic. That's fantastic. That was, well, that was. What's she, like? What's she like in real life? Very, very nice. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. Is and she into computers? Well, I did try to ask you a couple of things. I was more interested when I got some of their early work, a lot of Texas's early work from, you know, way, way back, way back, I don't want to love her, that sort of thing, Southside. I bought I that limited that. edition of Southside, yeah. um, Fight the Feeling, Fool for Love, One Choice, Future is, is Promises. I got, actually got that signed. Do you, so I was very lucky. You got her to sign that the other day. I got yes, I had it. You had that on you. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm a massive fan, and it was it was wonderful because you know some of the guys, you know, they're like, uh, you know, I, I know a lot about computers, but it's great to walk arm in arm into a bar with a beautiful lady like that, and we had a meal. Well, fantastic. Uh, let's uh, maybe talk about more a bit later on. But you were there. For, it was a computer conference, was it? It was. Um, those guys were done. I think they were doing a demo of some kind, doing there's a there's a, like a studio doing there. Excellent. The um, Texas. The Texas are fun. Well, they're called Texas. They're not called the Texas. Um, and also, you know, I, I managed to get them because I'm some of their stuff back in Mercury and the phonograph um, back in the early nineties. Right, I got a lot of that. We stuff. should. We'll talk about Texas. But Sorry, trying to forget the time. Let's go to another call. Oh uh, eight seven oh nine oh nine oh nine seven three. Jonathan's in the Hammersmith. Oh hello, Stephen. I've just bought a widescreen HD ready LCD television. Oh, how much oh, was that? Dear. It's wicked as well. Yeah. To go with it. I bought a DVD and a. Um, and a cassette player so I could dub my videos onto my CD, right, which all works, but when I bought it, they said I'd be able to tape off Freeview. Well, I can't tape off Freeview. Do you know why? There's, there's two, you're, what you've done, you've bombarded me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I know there's a lot of people... Just, 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 just break, let's just break it down if we can. So, so, so you've got an HD TV And a cassette recorder... Yeah, and I can't seem to tape a free few program. Do you mean when you cassette record? You mean video recorder? Yeah, okay, yeah. that's it. Video and you recorder, can't record sorry. free view. Free view for some reason, no. What are you trying to record on there? Is it BBC One? Uh, no free view. I can record one, two, three, four, and five, but I can't record the free channel. Never try and record them all at once because that will not work one no. at a time. I've, I've said this before to people. They're trying to record one, two, three, four, and five. Do it one at a time because it will not do it. No. Try no, as you no. might, won't do it. No, Thank it's you. the six, it's the other right. 30 channels, I can't You want to take. record 30 channels? You cannot do that at once. It, you know, technology can only go so far. Yeah. If you're going to do that, record one at a time. Good luck right. to you. Jonathan, thanks very much for that. I hope that helps. There we go. Uh, the thing with the Sky Plus, as you know, is you can record two channels at once. So that's kind of a step in the right direction. Well, you don't want to, let's not run before you can walk. But you can do that. 
I've never done it. I don't want to try it, and I wouldn't recommend it. I've done it. Well, that's why I'm coming fixing your stuff, Ian. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm around your house fixing your stuff while you're fiddling away in your Super Mario. Uh, we've got some emails. <laughs> <laughs> just, just off the mic oh, a little bit. Uh, 0870 is, uh, friend of Speaking of, uh, high definition, uh, as we were there, Marcus in Nottingham says, uh, uh, Stephen, should I get high definition now or should I wait a year for the price to go down? Don't is be a muppet. Don't be a muppet. Wait. Is it, we had high definition downstairs in the canteen for a while. I don't know why. But we had it set up. It's it's good, but it's not that good, is it? No, it's not. Nothing is going to be that good. You're down there. You're you're enjoying your food. Okay, it's great. It's lovely. Uh, these kind of you know high tech media places you're in at the moment. It's fine for you media guys, but uh, you know it wouldn't waste your money for for mere mortals. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, very quick one before the break. Sanjeev in Croydon says, Can I set up my BlackBerry to access more than one email account at a time? Uh, this guy, is this Sanjeev, where is he, where is he from? He's in Croydon. Uh, this guy has been on ISO Solutions. Uh, he's been on at me. Leave me alone. I've, I've tried to help with this, and, and a number of my colleagues have tried to help. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do that again, Sanjeev. I'm sorry, I've given you an answer. I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, well, uh, I see what probably- I know who he is. Alright, wait, Sanjeev. Uh, stop messing me around. Alright, uh, okay, uh, let's, uh, play these. Meet careful Ken. Some questions coming in on the email. Uh, this is from Mark in the Sutton. Mark, I don't think he's taking this seriously. Uh, Ian, uh, can you ask Stephen if you can help? I've got a problem with my Mac I'm hoping you can help with. The zipper keeps getting stuck. Is that- that's a pun on Mac? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really- that's great. I've, I've not heard that. <laughs> if uh, some of the guys like to joke, you know, I was at Dittin' in Buckinghamshire. I don't know that one. Thanks okay. a lot, mate. You can have that one. Uh, Kate says, could you ask Stephen Murdoch if he has a MySpace page? He's got a lovely voice. Well, um, I don't know. It's very interesting. We might set one up. Mm. I think the some of the guys at work want to set one up, but thank you very much. Okay. Who, who's that lady? That's that lady? Her name is Kate. Well, I'm not- uh, Her email, uh, without giving away too much information, uh, it has- it sounds quite sexy. Perhaps I could- Perhaps you could. Later. Uh, Peter is in the Potter's Bar. Peter, have you got a question for Stephen before the news? I do, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. I've got a Toshiba laptop, and when it's up- when it's up and running with Windows, mm. on the screen, um, it's got a two-inch line right the way down one side, and obviously a two-inch line down the other side. My nephew seemed to touch the screen with his thumb, and this line came up. Is there any way I can get rid of these two lines? Touch the screen with his what, Peter? His thumb. And how old is he? Uh, seven. Oh, he's touching the screen with his thumb, and yeah, two he, lines have come up. Yeah, he pressed the screen with his thumb. Right. And there's like a, a two-inch parallel line both sides. Of this, the screen itself. I hope you've told him off, Peter. It's past your kid week next week, and I've got him coming round. <laughs> Blimey, oh dear, I don't no, I know because no. I've got a nephew, and um, we went out. Oh, it was a bit of summer holidays. He's back, he's back to school now. Yeah. And we, uh, what I find is, is is quite useful is keep away from the PC. Yeah, go have a game they of like, football. They like playing those video games, don't they? The shooting. I don't. And I, I, see, I don't like that. I'm, I was never brought up that way. No. My sister said to me, "Take him out. You know, just take him out to the what? park. To the park. Yeah. To the park. You know, not to. <laughs> you know, take him out. We had a game of football, and I yeah. think I'd stick with that for your physical exercise. Yeah. That, okay. I don't know does, does that help, Peter? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to do it next time. Cut his fingers off. Oh, oh, no, that's no. a little bit. Well, unpleasant, horrible man. No, I don't. I don't, I don't really. I, it's only computer stuff I deal with. I don't want. No, any of that. you're not. You're not super nanny. No, quite right. It's made me feel a little bit uh, uh, upset. Mm. Uh, okay, we've got time for a quick email before uh, we uh, go to the news. Uh, Paul in Earl's Court uh, says, "I still use the Betamax videos because they're better quality. Mm. Is there anywhere I can get the latest movies on Beta?" Oh dear, that's a difficult one. Mm. Um, there are you sometimes you see Chinese fellas walking around with their their DVDs. I don't know whether you get one. He's cheap. after Betamax Betamax videos, though. You could ask one, ask one. They're normally Chinese. Okay, uh, Paul. Uh, if you ask a Chinese fella, see what you can do. Oh eight seven oh nine oh nine oh nine seven three is the phone number. If you want to give us a call, uh, you can stay around about half past four. Is that all right? Certainly. Excellent stuff. Uh, we've got quite a lot of calls lined up, but if you want to get in and ask uh, Stephen a technical question about computers and gadgets, oh eight seven oh nine oh nine oh nine seven three. You're listening to London's LBC ninety seven point three.
a couple of emails. Um, we'll, we'll go to Paul in a second on the phone. Um, let's quickly get so many of these. Uh, uh, Stephen, I have this is from Leroy Jenkins. Mm. I have Sky in two rooms uh, for fifty five pounds a month. I also have BT broadband, one megabyte, forty gig a month limit at twenty pounds a month. I've recently heard about Sky broadband, forty gigs up to eight megs for five pounds a month. Is this a catch or is it a good deal? Look, uh, you're talking to someone who's got, um, I've got one terabyte, which is a thousand gigabytes, and a gigabyte, of course, uh, one thousand uh, megabyte. Don't, don't come, you know, don't come to me with your small fry stuff. Uh, you, you're talking about a guy with a, a, okay. a, a big computer. Okay. By the way, this is Stephen Murdoch from ISO Solutions, computer and gadget export, expert. Uh, Raoul, uh, also in quoting, says, uh, with the PS3 being delayed until next year, uh -huh. should I ask my mum if I can have a Wii for Christmas? Have a Wii? Yeah. As that's another joke. It, no, it's the new Nintendo console, the Wii. I, j I thought it was another. I thought it was that guy about the zipping up the Mac. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's the new Nintendo console. <laughs> just off, just off the mic, mm. uh, and you use the controller like a, a sword. I've never a, heard of it. I don't okay. know. I don't know. I wouldn't like to see. Okay. Uh, a Wii let's go for Christmas. Let's go to Paul in the Tombridge. Hello, Paul. Hi, Ian. Hello, Paul. Doing? Yeah, it's good. All right, what do you want? Uh, I'm, I'm basically, I'm trying to be a bit of a, a cheapskate. I want Sky Plus, but I've already committed to NTL. Mm. So I was thinking of buying a, a DVD recorder, you know, one with the hard drive. Oh, yeah, nice. Can I then use it to record the NTL, and then I've got my own little Sky Plus? Oh. So it's a question of NTL or Sky Plus? No, I've, no, I'm not having Sky Plus. I don't want to go back to Sky, but I've, I mean, I've, I've got NTL. I want to go and buy... What is the uh, question again? Sorry. I want to, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a DVD recorder. Right. So that then I can record the terrestrial channels. Right. Mm. Um, but would it work so that I can record the NTL channels as well? Yes. It there we go, Paul. Hope that answers your question. Fantastic. Well, that was, uh, was nice and straightforward. Uh, let us go... Oh, let's go to Barry and Watford. Uh, hello, Stephen. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if mm. you recall, we did have a minor uh, misunderstanding, uh, last time I phoned. I'm not too clever with <laughs> computers, so I didn't really catch... Uh, what you were suggesting. That's okay, I'm sorry I wasn't clear last time. Yes, it's just, you were quite rude, you know, but, mm, yep. no, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. Yeah, let, can we not go over that again, Barry? Have uh, you yes. got a question for Stephen today? Yeah, uh, it, okay. Is there a, is there a wholesale place for computers? My boy Dave wants to take me to buy some, oh, uh, software, it no. says, and right. I wonder if there's a big warehouse you can check it out. Well, that's a very good question, Barry. They, they, mostly those things are online, but uh, I do know a very good one in Swindon. Uh, there's a good one in Swindon. Sorry, where? In Swindon, Wiltshire. It's a bit off the beaten track. Oh, I can never find... I can never find my way anywhere like that. We, we go in the car. It's, it's probably easy to find on a map, or if you've got sat-nav. Well, uh, good, yeah. If, if, if you've got what? Sat, sat nav Satellite navigation. What's that exactly? Very Sat nav. Good. It's uh, it's a system where you can attach your dashboard to let you. Basically, it'll tell you where you're going, how to. Sorry, get. it tells you how to get there. It literally gives you instructions on how to get to the destiny to the destination. In this case, Swindon. S sorry, what it, it, it talks to you. It says how to get there. Well, it can do. Yes, yeah. you can set it to that. Don't be ridiculous. It's a machine that tells you how to get there by giving you directions. That's that's exactly right. Yes. <laughs> Ian, they're telling this bloke to stop wasting my time. Well, You're mucking me about. No, I'm, I'm serious. Ian, get this... I've got one. What are you trying to do? Get this joker off. It's not... It's not like a talking car. No, no, it's, it's just... Oh, it's like Night Rider. It gives you instructions on how to get yeah, there. No. I'm not an idiot. Well, turn left as no, it goes. Right. No, no, turn this right. Is... Go straight on. You must think I was born yesterday. Mm. <laughs> They do Don't, exist. Uh, treat me like a fool. No, um, if it is, it's so ridiculous. Mm. S mm. Sat, sat, nat, both no, foot. Sat, nav. Oh, right. sat, nav, you, you blooming oh, no. fool. All right. Steady on, on Barry. It's so ridiculous. Steady on. Life. Sat, you've never heard of sat, nav. Sat, nav. Sat, nav. Sat, nav. Yeah, it's sat, nav. Who's sat, nav? Sat, nav. Sat well, I'm sorry, I've had enough of this. Yeah, no, the we, second we, time you've been unreasonable oh, to me. Stop making things up, forget it, you blooming prelate. Right, we're not getting anywhere. He's put the phone down. He's put the phone down. I'm sorry, down. I, I don't, I, I didn't really come here for that. A lot of people are familiar with sat nav. I don't know if that that guy. No, sorry about that. That's I've got one on there. X. I've got Tom Tom. They're really good. Now, very quickly, we're I going don't know to. What's uh, got uh, into him? No, miserable old sausage. He's been. Uh, we got Mike in a second. Very quickly, you brought in a special chair with you. What's what's all this? Yeah, about? I bought the Schmirgson in. Basically, when you're at your desk, it's very important that you keep your back 
quite, quite still, you know, because the proportions of an individual's body right, yeah. are not really designed for sitting erect on the computer. So it's, it's, it's a useful thing I picked it up at the conference. Yeah, okay, it's quite an impressive beast. So this is, this is the state of the art from Oslo. Right. It's the Schmerksen. Yeah. It, it retails something light, like 80 pounds. Right, okay, yeah. And, yeah. uh, if you just sit down, that's the, uh, you got it? Right, okay. That was, what was that? Sorry, that was that wasn't me. That was uh, that was actually the the right. chair. Right. No, that's not me. That was a, that's a little bit of oil on it. Yeah, that needs a little bit of oil on it. Okay, that's uh, um, you sure that's that's the chair. That's right. <laughs> embarrassing. No, but if, if you, you move it around here, if you move it, <laughs> is, that, is that you? That, that was me that time. <laughs> no, um, it's it's basically state of the art. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think I, I can't believe. I think we'll leave the chair there because you you can get that oil. That's very embarrassing. I'm sorry. Let's, about let's that. Quit, can we we'll, we'll quickly go to Mike in Bracknell. Mike, hello. Yes, hello Mike. There. Hello, Steve. How are uh, you? Yeah, just stop moving around if you can. Yeah, Mike. Eh? Not you, Mike. You can move move around as much as you want. We've got thirty seconds. Right. I've got a uh, I've got a peer's here. Uh, Please go. It's uh, a dial-up line. Email. Right. I'll either use either the phone or the computer. When right. I come to close down, yep. I go to mm. log out, doesn't matter who the server is, right. I come back to the, uh, the server screen, I close that down with the top right hand cross, and according to mm. me, that should cut the line off. However, it doesn't. I have to go either to shut down yep. or start okay. up, restart. Mike, we haven't got time to answer your question, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Written a blockbuster. Okay, we've got Stephen Murdoch here till about half past four. Oh, wait, seven oh nine oh nine oh nine seven three. Computer and gadget expert. I got an email here, anonymous from Mars. Mm. Stephen. Oh, sorry, I should have read this before. Stephen, I'll read it anyway, just so you get right. uh, the idea. Stephen, you are a knob. Ya didn't know a ting. Why didn't ya swivel? Sorry about that. I, d I don't. I've you know, this is the second time I've come in and had this sort yeah, of. Yeah, it's not very pleasant. Uh, let's go to. Uh, there we go. It's quite all right. I pressed the dump button there because we had uh, a bit of bad language, so that didn't that go on the radio. Okay. That was unpleasant and was yeah, unnecessary, okay. which is, uh, which is good. Uh, but I think we, we, now, Dave, is that, is that Barry, son? Yeah, because we don't have my dad. Yeah, well, who's been... Well, you, listen, your computer uh, please, we haven't got my old Barry. Yeah, but right. listen, what, my old dad, I don't know, that's a double you got him in his bank, but stupid, you don't know nothing about that, never, he can't blame it, you don't, know, he's um, not a crime. This is Barry's. Oh, uh, right. yeah, just, can you just calm down and slow my, down? My, if, my, my dad isn't to recall. He's 1977. He doesn't know nothing about sad now. Right. Can't blame the guy. Yes. I've been. Well, I, I, I've been trying to stop him because he's a phone in your shop because I thought I was going to do nothing. I tell you what, Dave. Just cut, cut him off. I'm not having that. Sorry, that's. that's uh, Who's that guy? That's Dave. That's, that's Barry's son. Disappointing. Oh, uh, gosh. We should have just. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's go to Andreas in the Highbury. Hello, Andreas. Hello. Hello, Ian. Hello, Andreas. Hello, you know, I, I was really sweating as well just now because somebody just stole my washing from the line. Right. So you've got to... In the garden. You, I'm very angry. You've got to, You're angry with what, Andreas? They stole my washing from the washing line. Who stole your washing? Uh, the, somebody. I live in a, a, a flat in one of the gardens that joined together and some child is coming... Oh, dear. What I recommend is you get, a, like, a dryer. You can get a washer dryer all in one. Yeah. Why don't you try that? Yes. Okay. I, I, I wanted to speak to you about the computer, not the washing. Well, okay, Andrew, so if, you, if you do it quickly, because we're running out of time a little bit here, mate. I, I have an Apple Mac uh, computer, right. uh, Stuart, and then... Um, so, Stephen? Stephen, yes. Um, and it's, it does not play the DVD, you know how that format, DVD minus, DVD plus. Right. And this one is not playing the minus, and I tell the boys in the PC world, and I said they'd like children or nothing. I, I, I had a little, I had a similar sort of trouble. I've got, uh, I actually got a Texas, it's it's a limited edition of uh, Southside. Oh, yeah. Fight the Feeling, Fool for Love, it's got Every Day Now. And uh, it's got an extended version of I Don't Want to Be a Lover. I took that in. And those guys fixed it straight away. It was it was it was really very very easy to deal with. I hope that's some help to you. Does that help, Andreas? Yeah, well, yes, I, I would. Well, I would try. I suppose to take it back. Good lad. Thank you very much. There we go. Uh, mm. One of the many characters we we get here. Oh eight seven zero nine zero nine zero nine seven three is the phone number if you want to give us a call. Got some more emails here. Um, Daniel from Muswell Hill says, I downloaded a BitTorrent file up to 91% completion when an error message suddenly appears. Mm. It reads as such, IO error, erno 9, bad file descriptor. After which, the BT download dialog box shows download failure. The next time when I try to download again, the same error message appears. Is there a way to rectify this and resume the unfinished download? Are you pressing the right, sometimes I find if, you, if you've got long nails, you press the wrong key. 
I'm very lucky because I bite my nails. Mm. <laughs> you know, I rarely press the wrong key. Sometimes I've, you know, I've kept pressed the an insert key. Right. I found myself deleting stuff as I'm, I'm typing, for goodness sake. What? But, um, if you press the insert key. How does that work? You press that and it basically what it does is it actually goes, yeah. oh, sorry about it, it actually goes over the top of the, uh, what you're already typing. Right. Keep your nails short. <laughs> uh, well, Daniel, there you go, keep, keep your nails short. Darren's in the Guildford, hello Darren. Hello, um, Ian, what I'd like to know is, what does your guest even think of the new Windows Vista which is going to replace expert the new Windows system? Yeah, Vista. Vis Vista. 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 Yeah, it's going to replace XP. Oh, what do you think of it? Have you had a chance to see it I've yet? not had a chance to see it. Uh, according to the guys I met at this, this place I met, Charlene Spateri, you know, I was chatting to her and they were going on about this, this are you, thing you're Are talking. you a fan of Texas, Darren? Sorry? Are you a fan of Texas? Uh, yeah, not bad, actually. Quite... Have quite you heard Thrill, thrill, thrill Has Gone? Have you heard this seven-inch single, uh, limited edition Thrill Has Gone that I picked up? Uh, no, sorry, mate, I haven't. Um... Maybe you could, uh, do a podcast of it and put it on the, um, Well, it's, website. it's interesting. The B-side is nowhere left to hide. You can't podcast 89. music because of copyright reasons. No, well, we can't do that, sorry. Okay. Um, you also, can go on. Yes, Darren. Can I just say that if anyone's driving south on the A3, yeah. Minehead is completely blocked both ways. Stephen, it's anything, anything everywhere. do you know anything Minehead? About that? Yeah. You help me I, I, I only can help with software. It's only gadgets and computers, uh, I'm afraid, Darren, uh, sorry about that. Do you want to tell us a bit more about this chair you, you've got with you? Basically, you can pick up, I, I got this thing, it's, yeah. it, it, what you want to do is, yeah, it's very <laughs> important. <laughs> <laughs> that was the chair. Very good for lower back support. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tell you what, Stephen, because I don't, I don't know if you noticed, it sounds like you're, you're, Fair enough. So, we probably shouldn't- Hold on, let's just- if you push this down here- Yeah, it's probably best if we don't talk about the chair anymore, Okay, it, it, sorry, that's- yeah. Your bottom should be right back against okay. the back of the chair, that's all I wanted to see. Though. Okay, and it's good for your back though, is it? Very good. Excellent stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, Verinda! Yeah, hello. Hello, oh? Verinda, what's your- hello, Verinda, or, or as we're- as we're calling him, the bottler. I bottled it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Verinda, I believe, uh, that you've got, uh, a question that you'd like to ask Stephen Murdoch. Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? <laughs> Sorry? Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? Oh, have no, ever... this is getting s <laughs> Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? <laughs> ha have you ever peed in a swimming pool? Verinda, come on, mate, he's a computer expert here. Um, I, I want to ask you, mm. what- Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? Right. What console shall I get? The Xbox 360 or- I'm not sure I want to come on this, it's sure again. I've, uh, you know, I've sat through, there's been people shouting at me, there's been all sorts. I've brought in a chair. Uh, you know- To show you, uh, and I've got this- know, you, uh, you, uh, Peeing in a swimming pool uh, business, I'm sick of it. Oh, stop moaning, man. What? Stop moaning. Yeah, well, you can get lost. <laughs> yeah, bring back Barry. He's that, not Barry, Barry is not- Barry was rude Well, that guy was very rude to me, and that's twice he's been rude to me on his son. So sick it's of got, it. It's got a little bit, um- Take the chair, forget it. Well, steady on, should we just- we got you here for another couple of minutes? Yeah, you actually booked, so there's no way. Here we go, uh, Uncle Dave from Brighton says, Ian, mm. uh, can you ask Stephen, is there a way I can secure my wireless router right, to better. ensure maximum protection from piggybackers? What? <laughs> is, is there a way I can secure my wireless router to ensure maximum protection from piggybackers? Is this just, I mean, uh, the piggybackers, have you peed in a swimming pool, have you got a map, no, you're zipping it up? No, I'm so here Stephen, to answer questions, I'm not, not here to be an idiot made of. No. Me. Piggybackers oh, are when, uh, when people kind of steal your wireless internet. They ju they piggyback onto the, the, the connection and use your internet for free. Is, is quite I a good don't question. know what that is. Is there any way? No, there isn't. Sick of it. Get J out. J Jason! Hello! Yes, you probably the last call of, uh... What do you want to ask me about? Skyhooks, oh. what is it? Elbow grease, what do you want to speak to me uh, about? online gaming. What? Online gaming. What about it? Um, I've got a ping, and I've got a frank for a second. How do I get more frames for a second, then I'll go get my ping down. You want to get your pin down, ha ha. Ping, is this ping. ping. I... Oh, sorry. How do you get your ping down? Yeah. Is this a serious question? <laughs> it's a deadly serious. What's that? It's this chair I brought in. Uh. Yeah, ping. P-I-N-G. It is important when you're gaming. I play games online, and quite often, uh, you, the game slows down because you've got a low ping. You want to try and get your ping as high as you can. It's a genuine term. Yeah. Is that you, Ian? 
Well, it's trouble with a chair listen, I brought I, in. I, I'm shifting on a chair. Jace, you're doing what? Shifting on oh, this chair. Okay. Jace, listen, needs oiling. We're, we're, we're going to have to end it there, mate. No. Sorry about that. Uh, I feel it's been a little bit of uh, well, I, you know, I'm here to answer questions about software okay, yeah. and hard resolutions. I'm not really here to be made a fool of. Okay, well, um... I'll take the chair. Okay, here's the ad. Thank you. If you've just... Oh, thanks very much for coming coming in. Uh, okay, sorry, got a little you. bit uh, no, uncomfortable okay. towards the end. Uh, thanks. You're off, you're off now, are you? I'll just get the soda. You could... Just drink it. If you could just... Wait, 15 seconds, you could do it during Thank the you. news. Sorry. Thanks a lot. Just pick that up there. Thanks for anyone who, uh, it was proper calls, that was fine, it was great, okay. thanks. Okay, uh, um, well actually you should probably go now. Okay. Thank you. Coming up in the next, uh, half an hour, can you have better- An absolute joke. ...than 2020 <laughs> vision? Available on DA- And then we go back to normal, so, uh, the expert has gone, Stephen has left the building. A L- little bit tense at the end, we had a few words, but he's gone now, and that's fine. Uh, so, sorry. Again, apologies there to Stephen. Uh, 08709090973, uh, is the telephone-